Hi, let me quickly show you how to use causal scenarios for Excel. I've got here a really simple model uh, that forecasts my savings over time. I start off at 10,000 and I think they grow by 5% every year and I've worked out the value across uh, 25 years. Um, now I'm interested in seeing what happens if, if I don't actually get 5% a year. I think this could actually be anywhere from 5 to 10% per year. Uh, so I'm interested in seeing what the range of possible outcomes is for my portfolio value uh, across the 25 years. So let's open up the causal add-in uh, I'm doing this in Excel uh, for web, but the same thing applies for Excel desktop, both on Windows and Mac. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to define this 5% number as an input. So I'll, tell, I'll, I'll select the cell and I'll tell Causal to create this as an input. It's selected B4. And now I think this could actually uh, be anywhere from 5 to 10%. So in its input range, I will enter 0.05 to 0.1. Uh, and I've created that as an input. Uh, next, I need, to, I need to create the output that I care about. Uh, and in this case, it's the value of my portfolio across the 25 years. So I'll select all of those cells. Uh, I'll click Create Output. Uh, Causal's found it. It's B9 to Z9. And I'll give this a name. And I'll call it Portfolio Value. Uh, and now I've created the output. Now, all I need to do is click the Run Simulation button. Uh, Causal is running hundreds of different scenarios for different values of this annual returns variable. Uh, and it's worked out a, the, the range for my portfolio value uh, across the 25 years. So I can see, you know, in uh, in year 20, uh, I'll probably have around 43K, but it could actually be anywhere from 27K to 66K based on this range that I've defined here. Uh, and I can click the insert image button to get a, a big picture version of it that I can include in my spreadsheet or paste into PowerPoint or post on Slack. Uh, wherever you want to share these kinds of outputs. Uh, and that's basically how it works. You can have multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Uh, the same principles apply. Thanks a lot.